is one of IndyCar's smallest teams knocking over a global motorsport giant. Working turn three, he comes down below the white line, slightly high, but the car looks stable. I'm watching turn four apex speed. Minimum speed, 226 miles an hour. That's great speed. Let's listen to the radio. Yard of bricks, Kyle Kaiser. Has he knocked Alonso out? He has! Oh! Kyle Kaiser and Hunkos Racing are in the Indy 500. Alonso's out. McLaren goes home. Lap number three, 227.239 miles per hour. Nick, the three-lap average, 227.459 miles per hour. He's still in. Still in, but by the slimmest of margins. Kyle Kaiser, clean off of turn number two. Hardest part of the racetrack as he motors his way down the back straightaway. Looking to knock out Fernando Alonso and put small Hunkos racing into the Indy 500. Kaiser shoots his way through the short shoot mark as he makes his way through turn number four. History may very well be made in the young career of Kyle Kaiser off of turn number four checkered flag in the hands of the starter lap number four in the books 227.109 and he's fast enough four lap average 227.372 Anders Krohn are you kidding me oh, they've done it they have done it can you believe it Two one hundredths of a mile an hour is the difference between Kyle Kaiser and Fernando Alonso, and they have made it. I cannot, I cannot believe. Check your flag, check your flag. Do we make it? We made it, dude, we made it! Yes! Yeah. yeah, guys, oh my god! Awesome job, awesome, awesome job, guys! Oh my god! Amazing, it was amazing! Thank you, thank you, thank you all, thank you. You guys are unbelievable, I can't believe what you guys have done. This is absolutely the greatest story of my life. Thank you so, so much. Kyle Kaiser out of the car. You just qualified for the Indianapolis 500. This is unbelievable. The team has worked so, so hard. This is everything that we've been working for, and I, I was in tears on that last lap knowing that we had that shot. Hats off to the team. This is all for the team and all the work they put in to get us in this race. The car, how was it for the final couple of laps there? It was a little on edge, I'm not going to lie, but I was playing with my tools and I knew we had a good one going, so just the, I give the team all the credit, man. They gave me everything I needed. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, what an unbelievable day. I, I still can't believe it. I'm still kind of in shock, but this team showed that there is no amount of resilience and fight and determination that they don't have because they, they spent so much time working on this car to get it ready. Yesterday was a tough day, very challenging day. I think we were struggling to find the speed, but we were having issues with the temperature and the conditions. The car, we didn't really have a good feel on the, on the handling, so I think there was a lot of work to do yesterday, but we didn't give up, we kept pushing. And due to yesterday, we were the last to qualify today because we had the slowest speed. So I think that kind of played into our hands a little bit today. Overall, I'm just, I can't believe it. We decided not to run this morning in the practice, mostly because we were having issues with overheating yesterday and also, you know, just, we, we were feeling pretty good about the setup that we ran yesterday, so we didn't feel like we needed the practice, and we think it would have hurt us more than helped us. So I think it was a really smart decision, obviously after the fact, and I just hats off to the team. This this is this is a team victory here to be able to make this field. I feel like we won the poll today. It just it, it's unbelievable. So thank you everybody at Hunkos Racing, Ricardo, every single person deserves a shout out, but it would take me forever because there were so many people. But so thank you everyone, and let, let's let's kick ass in this race. It's an amazing day, probably the most intense day in our life for the whole team. I mean, we, we pull it, I don't know how. We are in the Indy 500, 103 race. After a massive crash, a massive comeback, we worked so many, so many hours that nobody can just believe it other than our guys. And to be in the race, it's just a, day, a, a dream came true. It was probably the most intense minutes of our life for sure, and we remember this forever. Now we're all going to celebrate and get ready for next weekend. First of all, a huge hug, and there have been plenty of hugs and high fives going around down here, and even a tear in your eye, Sage Karam, an emotional Sage Karam. Congratulations. Tell us about the run. I just never want to do that again, that's for sure. Um, man, I, I feel like I won the Indy 500, and I only qualified it, man. That's what that's what this place is like, like so... I missed the hug. <laughs> like, th this place just means so much, man, and like, when you can just qualify for it, after the month we've had, it, it's just, it 
feel like I've won. I like. I feel like I won it, but I only qualified. I, I, I can't even put it into words. Just the whole team. Just I, I can't thank everybody enough. Honestly, sticking behind me. It's been a rough month. Congratulations. An emotional, a very emotional Sage Karam down here on pit lane, Mark James. I had a wrestling coach um, back in the day tell me that um, it doesn't matter who you're wrestling. Don't look at who you're wrestling. Um, it's all about who's better in those six minutes at that time. And we didn't, we, we didn't have it yesterday, but I just knew if we were just better than the guys we needed to be better than today for the four laps, we would do our job and we, and we would be in. And I can't believe it. You know, I, I feel like I've won the race and I've only qualified. I've been uh, involved in racing for uh, 35 years or so. And um, uh, this is, not probably, actually, this is the most painful uh, day in my uh, career in, uh, in motorsports. You know, we, uh, we took a, a huge challenge. Uh, we knew uh, that this was going to be uh, difficult all the way. Uh, we were racing against some very experienced teams uh, in IndyCar. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we came up um, a little short try as we might, uh, we, we came up a little short and uh, it's very, uh, very painful, you know, we, you know, we had a lot of support uh, from the fans, uh, from our partners, um, from frankly the whole uh, IndyCar community that welcomed us with open arms and uh, uh, helped help us navigate to some uncharted waters uh, for, for, for a lot of us. Um, you know, I want to also thank Fernando uh, for his tremendous effort. I mean, we couldn't have asked any, any more from him. Uh, he drove like the champion that, that he truly is. We just didn't give him a car um, that, was, that was fast enough. And. Um, You know, the racer in me, uh, the fighter uh, in me, so I want to come back. You know, I, wanna, I want to start tomorrow and I want to meet this challenge head on. Um, I think Fernando spoke uh, well earlier, you know, um, at least we're here fighting. You know, sometimes you fail, but uh, we're here fighting and, uh, and this is a challenge that, uh, that I want to meet, meet and uh, I want to come back.